Hey, in this video, I will show you how can you upload the images in Django. You can upload images by an user interface. So just choose a file and just choose the image. So now I choose the image, this, and now give a caption TST text 666 and now upload. Okay, successfully uploaded this image. So now you can refresh it. Here it is uploaded. Okay, so another give a caption T E A S T T S T five 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 and choose a file. So just choose the image and now upload. So upload it successfully. Now refresh. Okay, so here it is. So in this video, I will show you how to do this and you can check this tutorial step by step here. Here I create this tutorial. You can check the all steps. Okay. And you will better understand if you check this. Okay. So link in description. Just go to the link and check the tutorial. Okay. So let's start. Now at first create a Django project. So just open the CMD and type Django admin start project and it name is project. Okay, so now create a application of Django. So just type Django admin start app. The app name is image. I M A G E. Okay. So now open any code editor. So I just open it by VS code. So you can check the all steps here. <coughs> so now image is the Django application and project is the Django project. So at first go to settings.py here. Just install the apps at first. So the app name is image. Okay. Now what do you do? Now just go to urls.py inside the project url and here just include the image urls. Okay. So just go to urls.py here. Just include the image urls and obviously import the include also. Now go to the image here. Just create a file name urls.py. Okay. Now what do you do? Now go to the models.py in the image application. So just go to the models.py here. Create a model for the caption and the image. So I just copy it. So just here paste it. So here I just create a image model and the field are caption and image. The caption field is character field models dot character field and maximum length is 100 and image equal models dot image field and upload to image slash percent y percent y for year this will be auto completed by Django and now create a function name str str function will return self dot caption okay now save it and go to the admin dot pi now here at first import the models the models name is what image okay now register the model so just type admin dot site dot register remember register is in small letter so just register the model image so now Create a form.py inside image application folder. So here, just create form.py. Okay. Now, here, at first, import the Django forms and then import the model name image. Okay. So just at first, import the Django forms and then import image from dot models. Here. Okay. Now create a class name image form. Actually, I want to create a form for uploading image. Okay. This class will inherit from forms dot model form and 
then create a meta class meta class will connect the model to the form okay so the model name is image and fields are what caption and image caption and image are fields in image model okay so here just save it and now go to views.py and edit it okay so at first import the form image form and then import the model so just go to views.py here at first import the form and import the image model okay so this not form actually import the image form so just type form dot form import image form okay so now create a function name index so dev index okay it will take at first request okay now type return and render and it will take request at first now the template name is index.html okay so now here create a request dot method equal to post condition so just if request method is post then form equal to image form then if image form is valid then form dot save now create an instance because i want to show what you upload so just for this create an instance and return render to the index.html and pass the django variable obj okay so i just copy it and paste here now do the right indentation so if request method is post then form equal image form and data equal request.post and files equal request.files don't forget it if you do not add this line then the form will not work okay then type if form dot is valid then form dot save okay so then create an obj variable and obj variable take form dot instance i just want to create an instance because i want to show you what you have upload okay so now if form is valid and form dot save then return render and render to index.html and just pass the instance object name obj okay if request method is not post then create an else block and then form equal to image form do not pass any argument and then type image equal image dot objects dot all because i want to show all object okay so just remove this line and pass this django variable image equal image and form is form just copy it and paste here so just remove this okay okay so after passing all django variable then go to image application and here create the folder name templates and create an index.html inside the templates so just type index.html okay now copy the bootstrap starter template so just copy the bootstrap starter template and paste here okay now here create a form with post method and end type equal multi part slash form data okay if you do not add this then it will not work remember about all of the steps okay so just create a form with post method so here just create a container class also p o n container t a i n e r container okay and just copy the form paste inside the container okay so here and just type in type equal multiplier multipart slash form data if you do not add this then it will not work remember about this okay now the method is post so you have to add the csrf token 
So just type CSRF underscore token. Okay. After successfully add CSRF token, now pass the Django variable form. So form type a form form dot a is underscore p. What the means a is underscore p? A is underscore p means as para. So as para means p tag actually, nothing else. Okay. So now go to the tutorials and here just create a condition if object is true object is what object is go to views here object is the instance means if you upload it successfully then this block will work this block okay so just copy it and go to index.html after the form tag just paste it okay just do a hr tag and paste here okay so if uploaded successfully then this block will work otherwise not okay so now go to the tutorial and here just create a for loop for the image okay so here after this just create a for loop so just type for a in what is the django variable for all images so the so the django variable for all images is img okay so img so now at first in the for loop percent percent in for okay here inside the image source just pass the url of the image obj is the instance object and image is the field in image and url is the image url image is the field actually so go to the models.py i want to use the url of the image so here i just pass obj.image.url okay so class name is image thumbnail so just type whatever you want and also you can set height or width a G I G H D height height equal as uh, seventy percent and width W I D T H width equal also seventy percent. Okay. So now inside the for loop, grab the all images and caption. So just uh, grab the at first image. So just paste here. So inside the image tag. The source is x dot image dot url. Same as here, I just want to use the url of the image and height and width is seventy percent, seventy percent, and class name is image thumbnail. Okay. So now, just copy the caption. Here, I just after the image tag, I just want to show the caption of the image. Okay. So, I just want to caption of the image. And now uh, save it. Okay. And now add a h tag and save it. So you have to add media root and media URL. Now, if you do not add media root and media URL, then it will not work because every image or every media has an unique URL. Okay. So just Go to settings.py here. You have to add the media root and the media URL. So I just copy from here. Media root and the media URL. Media URL is the media and media root is os.path.join base dir with media. Okay. So now go to urls.py here. You have to add the URL pattern with the media root and URL. So just Go to the tutorial. At first, you have to import the settings and the static from Django.com. Okay. So after importing settings from Django.com and the static from Django.com URLs dot static, then type if setting dot debug. Okay. If settings dot debug, then add the URL pattern with the media root and URL. So just Type plus equal at first type static and then 
first settings dot media url and the document root is media root you can copy this and paste here okay so just type inside the static settings dot media url and then type document root equal settings dot media root okay now save it now go to settings dot py here already added okay so just go to url dot py this is the url of image application now you have to add the path for the index function actually okay so go to views here is the index function so now add a path for the index function so just copy it and go to url dot py inside the image application and paste here now remove this admin and also remove this and also remove include and also remove admin okay so now path this is for the landing page and now type views dot index at first you have to import from dot import views now type the function name vi ewviews dot index. You can also type the name of the URL is home. Okay. So just go to index dot html. So here is the form action. You can add the URL home. Otherwise you can use the dot. Because I using this same URL. Okay. So here is absolutely fine. Now you have to create a button for the submit. Okay, so inside the form. So just here, just create a button, B U T T O N button. And button name is upload. And class. Class is the bootstrap class, B T N, face, B T N, large, and B T N success and the type of the button is what submit typ type is submit okay now save it so now open the cmd at first you have to migrate the model so just type python manage dot ty make migration now migrate the model Python manage dot py migrate. Okay, so now create an super user Python manage dot py c r e a t e a c u p e r user and the name of the super user is admin. Email address is admin at gmail dot com and password is admin and repeat password is admin. Yes. Okay, so now run the server. Python manage dot py run server. Okay, so just run the local host. So here, just give a caption name test one and choose the image file. I just choose this and upload. Okay, upload it successfully. So now refresh it. So this is the test one. This is a very bad looking. So just copy the for loop from here and paste here. Okay. And now save it and just go here and replace it. Okay. So just caption name test. 222 and choose file is this upload it and now refresh it okay so now caption name is paste 333 and choose the file and upload it and refresh it and now caption name test test 444 and choose the file and upload it and refresh it Okay, here you can see each row has three object. Okay, so just here, 
I just here create a short condition if for loop dot first then create and row and then in the if tag and then create a class for columns column large 4 column medium 4 column 12 12 is for mobile because uh, in bootstrap there is a 12 grid in screen so I just divide into the 3 grid ok so then create a class name text center with margin top 2 and then pass the image tag and then pass the caption and then a condition if for loop dot counter is divisible by 3 here this is the main condition if for loop dot counter means if the object number is divisible by 3 here you can see the object number is divisible by 3 and then type if for loop dot last and then just end the div tag and end if tag and end for ok so here just check the condition very carefully you can create many condition and you can design so in this tutorial i just show you how can you upload images by an user interface so if you have any doubt just check the tutorial this tutorial is step by step so please check it thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel see you in next video so thank you